So scrolling games, the object of a scrolling game is to keep your sprite from falling. So it says press the space bar to fly the helicopter throughout the opening in the approaching green bars. The game stops if the helicopter touches any of the green bars. So I'm going to click the green flag and I'm going to start hitting the space bar. Notice my helicopter keeps falling and it's my job to hit the space bar to try to keep him alive. And I hit the green bar so the game is over. So let's go to see inside and let's pull our sprite back down. Notice the helicopter program first it, it has to, you have to create a part of your program that keeps the sprite falling all the time so that's why they did the forever change y by negative two so that means that it, forever the helicopter is going to just keep falling here is where you are stopping the helicopter from falling so we're changing y by 20 every time i hit the space bar so that's just up and down you can also incorporate side to side into your projects if you would like by programming the up and down arrows or the side to side then if it says if touching color green then all of it is going to stop so remember with these if then blocks if it touches yellow green then it's going to stop if it doesn't touch green then it won't stop so it appeared that the green was part of the background however they actually made the obstacle a sprite and here's why they made the obstacle actually create clones of itself to appear on the screen. Also, it occurred in random positions. So the important part with this game is that you're not placing the green bars in any specific area. You're actually setting their position to random and having them clone themselves. That way, the user can never predict when or where the green bars will appear. So the green bars were created if we go into costumes they were simply created by drawing squares and filling them in green. There's several different costumes that it switches from. The more costumes you have, the harder it will be. Also, the more narrow the spot is between the green bars, the harder your game will be. And the stage just is simply the two backdrops that they switch between the stars and the cloud. So, when you are creating your scrolling game, remember it's important to make sure your sprite is always falling and then to provide the user with tools to stop your sprite from falling. So whether it's clicking the arrow up, clicking the arrow down, or clicking the space bar as in this game. Also, you need to have some sort of end goal for your sprite. What happens when they reach a certain point? Is there something waiting for them? Did they win the game? Did they win the level? There's all kinds of different ways you can be creative with this project. So continue to go through the different steps and create your scrolling project.